John from backofthedragon.com here with you again from Hungry Mother State Park, just outside of Marion, Virginia. Today on the Back of the Dragon, Porsche. Porsche, the pinnacle of performance, luxury, and quality. But Porsche is also famous for one more thing, value, investment value, and resale value. Why not show off your investment skills? You could drive your own new Porsche Boxster today for only $5.99 a month, or the exciting new Porsche Cayman starting at only $49,900. Call 423-224-2100 or get to 861 East Stone Drive, Kingsport. Rick Hill Imports. Go ahead. You deserve it. Beginning in 1948, Ferdinand Porsche set out to develop the absolute best sports car. Iconic names like the 356, the 550 Spider, the 928, and of course, the iconic 911. In 2005, though, they set out on a different path, something that was perhaps a throwback to earlier Porsches, the mid-engine car. What did they have to take? They used the Boxster. It brought about in the late 1980s, the Boxster was a huge success. They wanted to put a top on it. They certainly did. They did a great job. The Porsche Cayman is one of the well, most well-balanced sports cars on the market today. Equipped with either the 2.9 liter flat six producing 265 horsepower or the 3.4 liter in the Cayman S producing 320. Sub five seconds, zero to 60 times are very common, but really that's not what the car is about. What's the car about? The car is about 32 miles stretch of road that we have just over our shoulder here at the back of the Dragon the absolute perfect car on an absolutely perfect day in the fall. Doesn't get any better than that. Joining us today is Jerry Godsey, sales professional from Rick Hill Imports in Kingsport, Tennessee. Jerry, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, John, for having me. That's great. Uh, the very envi uh, enviable task that you have of living with these cars and affording people the, uh, the opportunity to, to own them. Yes, very rewarding profession. Uh, John, like I said, I've enjoyed the cars for years and uh, it's great to be able to come out on a day like this and uh, drive the cars on the back of the Dragon. Now, who who buys a Cayman? Who what 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 Porsche customer buys a Cayman? A lot a lot of your autocross drivers and a lot of people that live out the back roads and things that uh, and people that can't really afford the 911. It's a very good alternative to that. It's a great starter car, but at the same time, from a handling perspective and some of the other ways. It's absolutely on par with a 911. Oh, it is, and maybe even above a 911. Oh, don't say that. We <laughs> Considering <laughs> the car and driver rated it the best handling car in the world. Well, there you go. <laughs> absolutely. And car and drivers driven a lot of cars. From humble beginnings, it came Porsche, you know, after the Second World War, and, you know, with the 356, uh, cars were not all about sheer horsepower. They were about handling and the enjoyment of the whole car around you as it became a part of you. And this car really carries that tradition. Yes, it does. It's a uh, very Porsche, you know, w wanting to build a car that, you know, he would enjoy. You know, there was no car out there that uh, he felt that uh, a person could really enjoy. And, you know, you didn't have to have the high horsepower, just a well-built car. Absolutely. All-around performance, and that's that's what we're looking at here today. You know, uh, Porsche is synonymous with, uh, obviously, racing. Uh, they have perfected the 911 over the last se several generations of which there's a new 911, the 991, that'll be out shortly. I'm sure yes, at Rick Hill Imports at the yes, dealership. Sir. Please come by and check it out. Um, it, you know, you talked about mid-engine car uh, for for racing or even uh, performance on the street. And, uh, you know, it's really tough to beat a mid-engine car because you don't have to start from someplace so far back to get where you want to be as far as performance in a balanced car. Right, it does. It puts the gravity where you really, really would want it in a car. It just don't work for a lot of cars because in a four-door car or for more space, but in two-seater car in a car like Porsche, it works very well. You know, you, you talk about a lot of cars, uh, mid-engine cars, uh, high-performance vehicles, and they become a weekend toy only. You know, something that maybe you may wipe on more than you drive. That's not the case with Porsche. And it's certainly not the case with the Cayman. Uh, you know, the, the maintenance isn't a nightmare on a Porsche. These these engines are extremely robust. These cars, uh, uh, they do what you want them to do, what you need them to do. They go to the grocery store just as well as they go to the back of the Dragon. Yes, sir, they do. And talking about the service, they're only required service once a year, uh, full synthetic oil, and uh, very, very little upkeep. No more 
costly to maintain than your everyday car. And uh, to that, uh, there's a ton of space in this car. Now, it's a two-seat car, but there's a ton of space uh, for a, a great weekend getaway to come to the back of the Dragon in your Porsche Cayman. Plenty of uh, space up front and in the rear. Maybe you buy some local pottery or something. You can you can find a spot in the car to bring it home with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got about 10 cubic feet, but in the front, room for luggage, groceries. In the back, you can even get golf clubs. Yeah. So very, very usable car. Now, let's talk about the engines a little bit. Um, you know, they've... they've, they've continued to bring the horsepower up they've continued to refine the car since 2005 and of course the boxster it's the sister car that uh for the for the cayman the boxster along with it a couple of years ago uh some really major upgrades with the uh, direct fuel injection engine and uh, obviously with the seven speed pdk right right that uh, up the horsepower about 20 horsepower from 245 to 265 and like I say, went from 2.7 liter to 2.9, so a little larger, larger in, and even gets better fuel economy, even with the uh, more horsepower. Amazing German technology, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, it, it, it's something a lot of cars, you aspire to the upper level model of a particular car. The Cayman's a little different, and a lot of times Porsche's a little different in that. Sometimes, I don't wanna say less is more, but maybe without all the bells and whistles, maybe without all the gadgetry, maybe just the pure car itself, maybe the best Porsche experience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And definitely less expensive, but uh, every bit as fun as the more expensive Porsches too. Absolutely. Uh, so we've got a, I don't know if I've seen a better day. Uh, this is absolutely <laughs> perfect. We have a guards red Porsche Cayman. Uh, with uh, the tan interior and a six-speed manual transmission. Now I think all we need is a driver. Yes, sir. Ah, hmm. what are we going to do for a driver? I think I have someone that you guys have seen before uh, come on in. Our friends, uh, the park rangers. Uh, Jeff Hall is back with us, uh, Ranger Hall. You ever driven a Porsche before? Never have. So you've never driven a Cayman. Then there you go. Excellent. That's perfect. Uh, Jerry is, is salivating. He's, he's trying to make sure... He's trying to see how much salary you earn a year. He's pre-qualifying you now. Uh, so hopefully you'll go home tonight with uh, with this Porsche Cayman. Uh, looking forward to this? I'm looking real forward to it. I see your badge popping in and out from your heart beating so fast. I know you can't wait to get uh, get on the road in this car. Uh, we look forward to a, a really fun, safe, enjoyable uh, time out there watching you on the back of the Dragon. Thank you for asking. We'll see you soon. Well, uh, watching you out there on this fall day with the leaves turning, going through the twisties on the back of the Dragon in a guard's red Cayman, wow. How awesome was that to drive? Well, I just tell you, I've been uh, doing uh, a lot of neat things as a park ranger, but I have to say it's one of the top experiences that I've ever had outside of working with the public and things like that. Commercially, this has been been pretty neat. Well, that makes me feel very good. You've been a huge supporter, as, as everyone here at the park. We thank you so much for coming out. I, uh, I hope I didn't bruise your arm too bad by bending it to get you to drive this Porsche today. Actually, you probably planned to see maybe we can lobby a little bit to get uh, the state to supply all the park rangers and all these to drive on that. I think that's fantastic. You know, they make a green that would blend in very well. Maybe if we bought them in bulk. <laughs> in bulk. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to Rick Hill Import and see if they can hook us up. Thanks. 
So for more on these awesome Porsche cars, go to rickhill.com to see more about the Boxster, the Cayman, the brand new 911 that's getting ready to come stateside, the Cayenne, and the Panamera. Please also check us out at backofthedragon.com for upcoming events, uh, visit our sponsor sites, and to check out cool Back of the Dragon gear. Thanks so much, safe riding, and we'll see you soon.